Greetings, I'm Roger Newbold, and welcome to episode number 41 of the Experience Photography Vlog. Our editor and my associate is Mr. Matt Rich. We are grateful to have him, you know, fine-tuning all that transpires here in Vlog land. <laughs> are you there, my friend? Excellent. <laughs> Here in the U.S., as in many other parts of the world, we are in the midst of the holiday celebrations. We would like to thank you for sharing some time with us and wish you peace and in your lives and in your homes. May you find joy in your individual circumstances and in the upcoming new year. In our most recent past episode, we talked about what we could learn from our camera's info page as we go along and shoot. We hope that you will seize the opportunity to do so and complete better photographs through better learning. That's why we're here. I uh, formulated this letter just to encourage you on. Today, I'm going to add my two cents worth on just how to stand out in the crowd. Find new ways to add, you know, pizzazz to your image. Like most photographers, most of us tend to see the world in, you know, full blown, wide scale gigantic dimensions. But if you pursue the internet and you look on most office walls or flip through any publication, you will witness those grand landscapes. Huge vistas, panoramas that we view and we compose in our minds. Over the years, we have concluded that many dramatic and glorious images have been captured with that stunning global mindset. And I've done it, you've done it, we've all done it. This is all well and good, but how many impressive details are often disguised out there, encompassed in all of those golden vistas. How often do we miss the warm smiling faces of those that we intersect with on daily life? Like this young lady who served us lunch the other day. Wow! Seize the opportunity to photograph those who labor in anonymity. They won't bite. If you ask respectfully and give them some grace, they'll be happy to pose for you. And there are beautiful people, and we want to share with them the details of our life. How frequently do we sit upon, ignore, and circumvent the brilliant patterns, the textures, the shapes that are just assembled in plain sight? waiting for us. Perchance, they come all in one diner. <laughs> Keep your eyes open. Now, look at this. This was an inviting sign. So, I found a seat. Look about what details popped out at me. Yeah. Rows and rows of mugs. Even the hood over the cook center offered some surprises. <laughs> As my wife would say in Norwegian, oofta. <laughs> Do you capture those sensational details that are surrounding you? Well, why not? Oh, 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 don't tell me you didn't carry a camera. Oh, 
after 40 vlogs, we still advise you to carry a camera. Now, may we offer you a clever tip? Whenever you walk into a place, set yourself a, just kind of a mini goal to determine how many photographs you can identify in the next 30 minutes or possibly just in a few glances. I love this. Get escalated. <laughs> Look up, enjoy the arc. Oh, my fave. Come on, you got to dream of some chocolate. <laughs> you can sit with your friends. Or even better, here's an image taken by Dan at our last group meeting. <laughs> uh, more good friends. He shot with my camera. <laughs> Beautiful, Dan. Good. <laughs> good grief. Hey, come on. That's what photographers do. Are you, are you embarrassed? Never. Enjoy your favorite hangout. You know, your friends are going to understand when you pop out of your chair and a, some unconventional behavior with a camera in hand. It became a sight to behold for me. I saw this handicapped gentleman about to cross the road out through the window. Now, if you see the possibilities of a great photograph coming together, I, I, I'm telling you, you're almost obligated to get that shot. So move swiftly out of the chair. Come on. Bystanders. <laughs> they, they just look at you like you have some kind of deadly virus. And they get out of the way. Well, it's their loss. <laughs> they don't get in the way anyway. You know, I'm trying to be contagious. I'm trying to spread the creative word. I am trying to show feeling and desire. Uh, sometimes they're not. In the end, people were going to judge you anyway. So just stop trying to worry about making everybody happy. It doesn't work. Just do your photographic thing. Now, upon Now, upon returning to my seat, I couldn't help but hear the mm, curmudgeon comment from one of our crowd whisper well, I'm waiting for the newest uh, XYZ camera. It'll be out soon. I don't want to carry that big lug from last year. Ah! You know, all I could visualize was this poor soul wandering aimlessly. Worse, camera lustly around letting him life passing by in some imaginary waiting for a super camera or lens or whatever accessory. He probably won't carry that brilliant illusion either. So there's always something new on the market. And it's not worth chasing the fictional fragments of your imagination. Come on, somewhere you just simply have to take a stance and do your best with what you have. So, so photograph. Remember, it's about the content, the image, the expression of one's personal soul and vision that counts. Craving the sweet photographic objects of delight is merely a diversion quite possibly a separate hobby, totally all together. Rarely is the equipment the limiting factor in our endeavors, I'm, I'm telling you. Work and practice until you know your current kit like you feel, no, until you absolutely know to be spontaneous and creative 
and work with a, you know, a unique style without hesitation. Snare the details. Generate the timeless history. Now, someone's got to do it. It might as well be you that becomes famous. It's, it's totally okay to search for details. Be different. It saves a lot of stress worrying about other people. Ah. Just being in a constant state of awareness simply gives you more creative outlook on everything. It increases your self-esteem. It builds more potential in what you see and liberates you to act upon those promptings. How do you see life? Ask yourself, what do I want to become now? You know, the philosopher Herculitus, maybe you don't know him, 500 BC, his nickname was the Ambiguous. But he became famous for his views on the world in flux, where he believed everything was constantly changing and transforming. Like his proclamation that a man never steps in the same river twice. You know, a constant flow forces constant change. Therefore, you don't always have to make the same type of picture. Who knew, who, come on, who knew at birth what they wanted to be when they grew up? Well, crap, I haven't even grown up yet. So I change how I do things as the need arises. The other morning, I observed a very unique, you know, a custom-made barber pole. Of course, I had to make a photograph of it. I'd never seen anything like it. It, it, it just stood out to me. It was gorgeous. It was different. <coughs> now, strange coincidence. Same day, that evening, miles distant, I came upon a more standard barber rotating pole. With the image still whirling in my mind, I took a second rendition. Now I got a gently glowing barbershop pole in the fading light. One connection that came to mind while editing these images was the thoughts of the forthcoming holiday season. That glowing light standing out in the dark. This presents all of us with some time and opportunity to search out great details of this season. Now, personal reminders of pleasant moments in your life in the past. You know, those family heirlooms that recall Younger times, happy times, times we treasure. A cozy, intimate portrait rather than a flash in your face. Just show me your gift. Eh, show me your teeth. Ah. Come on, let's do it right this year. Get the details. A heartwarming thought. Take a look at these. Here's three pictures. Top left is uh, Christmas in the United States. Top right was Christmas in Japan. And the bottom one of the third one is my old homeland, the UK, and Christmas time. I love it. And you just, the thoughts and the feelings they generate. Get the pictures that count. Now, there's no hard, fast rules to tell you what you have to become. You know, you can always rely on the idea that becoming something is better than just being. Don't let a little rain dampen your enthusiasm. Be curious. Be courageous. 
have enough gumption to ask some questions. Are you saddled with the question? Are you seeking more light and knowledge? Well, feel free to ask here. We delight in helping. We believe the future is more important than any present state of affairs. Now, I kept calm and I did it my way. Now, I want you to go out and do it your way. Folks, our time is up for today. We hope that you seize the details of life. We hope that you get in and photograph the intimate details of the stunning relationships that happen between you and home and family, your hearth, your whatever in your life. If you enjoyed today's episode, <laughs> give us a big thumbs up. You know, share it with a friend. They, they want to have this in their lives. Subscribe. Tinkle a little bell for future notifications. And, uh, by the way, happy holidays to you and all of yours. A tip of my hat to you, friends. Until next time. Cheerio.